Dan Brown, Toy and Plastic Brick Museum, Blair, Ohio. Welcome to the uh, Mars Mission Room. Uh, as you'll see outside uh, that room, we have a, a spaceship, which is a, a Toys R Us uh, display. Um, we have two or three of those in the museum. Um, we get we get kind of a fun response from uh, different people when we're talking about it. Um, Lego made up a nice story about these that they uh, purposely made the bricks different colors because of the uh, them coming in for re-entry. Um, actually, the bricks is discolored, <laughs> and uh, it's kind of funny when you see them because they're like, "Oh yeah, no, no, we did that on purpose. Yeah, really, we did." But uh, you can see that the certain bricks are discoloring terribly and that's a they said that that's based on re-entry but um it's kind of interesting that the ones that you can't see are also doing it so so i don't i don't think re-entry is the theme but um this used to be a um traveling uh, tractor trailer show that uh, lego had and um, we were fortunate enough to be able to go in and decommission it before it was uh, thrown away and we got all the uh, models that you see in the room behind us okay so. so if you want to take us into the room then we can go i know you've got some moving stuff and things back here so we'll see if that all works here well. <laughs> it's off off and on a little bit <laughs> that one uh <laughs> that one should come down at you i'm wondering i wonder if i turn the air off Yeah, we've got different types of robotics, uh, different types of animatronics. Um, we got a, uh, a number of displays that were in, um, like, um, casings, and we just turn around and put um, barriers around them. Uh, we have other ones that were um, kind of uh, piecemeal. We didn't know how they went, so we just turn around and put them together how we thought they went. Okay, and then what else do you have in here? I know you've got some larger displays here as yeah, well. Uh, we have larger displays. Um, we have um, a, a bionicle climbing a ladder, of course. You have to have a bionicle climbing a ladder. Um, we've got um, different uh, aliens. Uh, the, the Mars theme was kind of cute. It has um, all of the uh, astronauts up on top and all the Martians doing things underneath the surface. So when you get to the next one, you'll see that. Okay. Um, we have uh, different um, uh, spaceships, and then we turn around and we did kind of uh, just a generic on the wall type thing uh, for the kids to just enjoy, and they, it glows in the dark. Um, the entire room's black lit, so we have um, different things that kind of uh, light up under black lighting, and it uh, turned out really nice. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. You got all this kind of artwork type of stuff here, and then here's what you were mentioning earlier. So this is the bigger display. So with the kind of human astronauts on top and yep. Martians on the bottom. Martians on the bottoms. We have a, um, a down there. They're dancing. We have a uh, club that they turn around and uh, they're dancing. Uh, they're skiing. They, <laughs> they have a ski lodge underneath there. Um, they have their um, power sources over on the other side. And um, what's really cool, uh, you can't see it from this location, but there's actually an uh, astronaut being eaten by a polar bear behind the model. There was a, a jokester that used to work at Lego, and he turned around and did all kinds of funny oh, things yeah. behind the scenes. So <laughs> if you if you're ever looking at a real Lego model. You'll look, if you look around from the, this genre, you'll actually see that they had um, different hidden items inside of the uh, the model of different weird things happening. It's just, it's just funny stuff. And I know you got some moving parts. If I hit these buttons here, what uh, all happens? You've got these are the poppers. Okay. Guys, come, the aliens come popping out of the ground. Uh, over here is the dancers. You press this button, and you'll see they start dancing. Okay, you've got the dan dance floor kind of going there with yep. the aliens on it. Yep. They're having a disco party underneath the uh, ground there. <laughs> um, over here we have um, the um, the uh, power source for the uh, assembly. Oh, no, that's the jumpers. They switched buttons on me. And the last one should be the power source now. Then. No? Nope. <laughs> oh, there it goes. You see the little power source thing? Yeah, okay, it's going up and down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very cool. So you got the and so you mentioned this is part of an official Lego theme. You can give a few more details. How did that work? Well, yeah, uh, this was, uh, you used to walk through a tractor trailer. They had a traveling show, and they had a big blow up spaceman that was out front. And then you'd walk into the tractor trailer, and on the left and right were different displays. And um, this was one of the displays that was behind the cabinet. And then the other ones, as you saw, are the other ones. Okay. And they um, tore them up before we got there, so they got a little bit of damage to them. But we were able to save them, uh, you know, and re hook them all back up and get them to work. So uh, it was interesting without directions. I can. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And I'm um, trying to, to match the voltages and get everything else working correctly from a traveling show to a permanent show was very interesting. Yeah. But um, we got it done. Uh, this one was really funny. The, uh, the Bionicle, the reason he's in here, he used to be down in the front foyer, but um, he kept hurting people. He, um, he, he, he likes to curl back up in a ball. When we first got him, 
this was a, the, the theme was he was in a ball and he comes back out of the ball. And that's, um, it was one of the themed uh, bionicle sets. So um, we've tied him and uh, now he's strapped to the actual um, uh, ladder so he won't go anywhere. But he used to come out and he, he, kids would like to play with him so they push on him and then he would ball back up on him. So um, we had him in the front foyer and that wasn't really good because the kid was still, you hear like mommy going, ah, my kid's getting clobbered by a bionicle. But um, yeah, that doesn't happen anymore. So uh, insurance turned around and said we're not covering that. So uh, he has to go somewhere where he's blocked off so you see him he's up here and he's now tied to the ladder mm -hmm. but um yeah he's he's, he's he's quite the dangerous model he's uh, <laughs> so it is a cool model i like how you're on the ladder and everything oh, he, he's hilarious and, and again um this was the one um i was talking about when uh, they did lego a love story we were talking about the model that was in the front seat of the truck oh, okay. um because we went to get a life-size model and they called it a life-size model well he is but he came he was only about this big so um he yeah he was only about that big so he, he fit between the two seats except when you stop the vehicle then he would go ah so all of a sudden we ended up with Bionicle, you know? So, and then we would stop and he would go back into his ball. He, he's, he's really obnoxious. So there he is. He's, that's the most obnoxious model in the entire place. But um, he's cool. I love him. Yeah. He's it's, just, you, you just never travel with him. He's, he's never really going cool. anywhere ever again. And then moving on down here, you've got a couple more displays in this room. What's in here? Yep. Uh, they, this is the weightlifters. Um, this is now just a set display. Um, you used to be able to play with it and have it lift weights and stuff like that. Um, we've got a blown out module that we've ordered from Denmark. It hasn't come in yet. So um, once that module comes in, well, he'll be ba they'll be back to fully functional. But um, these are the weightlifters, um, basically just showing the difference between weightlifting on Mars and the uh, planet Earth. <laughs> um, and then uh, after that, uh, the guy in the park was hilarious. And then they, they're putting the, the uh, one in the uh, bathing suit, the bikini. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Somebody has a real good sense of humor. Yeah, that is that is really cool. So, the, and this again was all part of that official the Lego show. The yes, winter, yeah, this was all part of the official Lego show, and um, they, they just had different themes and different ideas and different thought patterns. So, you went through when the kids would go through. If they actually caught on to it, they would think, "Oh, this is cool. This is actually a learning experience." Uh, okay. Yeah, and then the next one here, I think this is the final one for this room. You've got some, this is yep, like a this space. Is the, the, um, this is the half Earth, um, so that's all built out of Lego. The moon, of course, and Mars. Um, and then you have the alien infestation um, coming to the uh, planet near you. <laughs> so we put that up there. Um, most people won't catch that, that that's the alien infestation that's going over the United States. Um, I thought it was more Democrat or Republican, maybe independence, but, uh, you know, yeah. you never know. <laughs> but um, this actually has a light generator in it. Okay. Hold on a sec. I don't know if the camera will catch this, but... So it's like stars going on there? Yeah. So there's actually a light generator underneath there, and it actually um, lights up the, uh, the night sky. Okay. So, interactive. Things, mm -hmm. uh, you know, kids press buttons, things happen. You know, that makes it fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, this is an incredible room and really cool. I, I hope the camera was able to pick up some of the cool stuff in here with the, the low light and everything. But yeah, like the black light, yeah, some the, of the, the cool movies. Again, the black lighting, um, we did it specifically so that um, way you become part of the show. And uh, when you walk in, you look through your socks. Okay. Yeah, your socks right yeah, now are glowing nice. based mm -hmm. on that uh, piece of paper glow. Um, the floor we put, we used an incandescent paint all over the place so that everything kind of glows. And it, it saves on cleaning, too. Don't <laughs> mention that. So, shh. That's our secret. Mm -hmm. You don't have to clean it as much because it's not lit that well. Okay. But, um, but yeah, this was a, this was a really interesting room to put together. And as you know, it's on the second floor. Getting it up here and in this room was uh, a joy. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> we, we got it. We had uh, three electricians trying to help us get everything put together, and they were just laughing because it was just <laughs> it, was, it was the most cockamamie thing you ever saw in your life. And you only had a foot and a half to work in because it was basically built inside of a tractor trailer. So if you don't stick with that same size, you've got all kinds of problems yeah. because you know you you have to build bigger and bigger boxes and the boxes are the original ones that were in the tractor trailer so the these boxes were what we got so we worked with whatever we had and there you go mm -hmm. so but yeah getting in there is interesting we had a trap door that goes through and you, i have to have like really little guys working with us so they can crawl in there and actually work <laughs> they, they caught me one time in there and they had to pull me out by my feet because i was stuck <laughs> but um yeah it, okay well, this is a really fun room and i appreciate you showing that to us oh, thank, thank you. you very much Glad to uh, show you the coolest room in the museum. <laughs> it's the coolest black room.